this review on a pottery wheel that I bought. It's actually not that expensive. Uh, it's super budget friendly. I am going to be doing this review outside because my house is not clay friendly. So outside it is. Say hello to my dog. This is Chip. So this is the uh, potter's wheel. All right. It's extremely small. As you can see my hand here. Uh, orange. They come in different colors. And it has this wheel on it. Now, this wheel does not have what's called a bat on it. So what a bat is, it's like got these pegs, or it's got like pegs right here. And then you put a, a piece of, I don't know if it's like thick wood or like a cardboardy type consistency. Anyway, it's a thing that sits on top of your wheel um, that helps your clay to stick on, okay? It doesn't have that, so that's one thing that I don't like about it. It does have a light to show when it's on. See, I don't know if you could see with it lighting up or not. Yeah, you can tell. Check monthly. Okay, this is to show, um, I guess, voltage or that it's working. It's probably like a, um, a fail-safe thing to click. And then it's got a, if I turn it on, it's got a, a forward and a reverse, okay, and, there, and a stop. As you could tell, I've already used it. Um, should have cleaned it up a little better. But right here is this lever that you can use with your hand, or you can use your foot. I personally do not like using my foot. I've tried it several times. I bought it because it had a foot pedal. I wanted the foot pedal on it, but what I realized was when you use your foot to push it down, what happens is uh, it causes the whole thing to like tilt. And who wants that when you're trying to make some elaborate cup or a pot or whatever? This is big enough to do a pot, by the way, or a plate or a bowl. Like it's that big. You could do those things on it without a problem. I'm still learning how to do its wheel, so for me, um, I could not do that. Okay, also it's got a three plug prong. Let me turn it on so you can see how it works. All right, let's get this baby going. So the first one I'm gonna show you is reverse. Click it over. You already have it turned on right here, which is the off and on button. And here is your switch, I mean your handle, which I use. And it goes pretty fast. I mean, that's pretty fast, you know? Let's turn it off. And then stop. And what would I say this was? This is forward. So we got the forward, so it'll go the opposite direction. Pretty cool. I wish that it had a thing where I could take this off and take the basin off to clean it. You know what? It cleans pretty easy. Just a sponge or whatever. I bought this on Amazon. It was $125, I believe. Anyway, I'll post a link in the in the description of this video. But yeah, this is it. Okay, when I was talking about the, the bat, I have seen that some people will just use a piece of round wood that they get and they'll add, I guess it's clay or something like a wet clay mixture and let it dry on there with, with the piece of wood on that so your clay will stick to it better. It does work somewhat, sometimes it comes off. That could possibly be because I'm still inexperienced with the doing of the wheel. Definitely recommend this to anybody who is wanting to get started in pottery. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell. Until next time, toodles.